my thoughts are, I'm not a medical person in any stretch of imagination, but it's a hot spot in his foot, and there's a chance somewhere along the line that just might crack all the way through. So we just have to be very careful with, with the amount of work he, he does. And, um, you know, we think if we played him this week, it's an unnecessary risk for, for him. What will happen at the end of the season? He'll just, uh, well, unless he breaks it, which we hope he doesn't, um, he'll just have six weeks rest in a, in a boot, and um, he'll be fine. So, yeah, it's, it's not a... It's an injury that if he had it started, he'd give him a full six weeks rest. But um, at the moment, we think we can manage it with you know, a couple of games of rest and, and also his, uh, his training time. Jim, there's a lot of people the week at the Surgeon table. Obviously, you got a bye in the last round. Another winnable game hopefully next week. The trip to Perth it was a pretty tough week, isn't it? Oh, this week was about selecting a team to go over and win uh, against West Coast. You know, there's um, very fantastic, they're a fantastic team. We've got really good form. They're playing the top four. Our boys see it as a you know a chance to go over and you know and have a, a strong performance and hopefully a win against a quality team. Um, we've been out of uh, run, you know, Colin and Carlton to, for a half this end of the season, the early part of the season. We we did a bit better than that. Uh, we beat Geelong. Um, so we've been able to beat some teams or, or handle some teams around the top end of the table. This is and we beat West Coast earlier in the year. So you know, our boys continue to get confidence from playing the best teams. And um, if you can beat them, you know, you, you show you get some reward for your improvement. A lot of people are saying it's their tools that are really driving it. Having taken Michael obviously no idea being out. No, it's not. But I think the one area that we're reasonably strong in as well is our you know tall backs, tall forwards, and definitely our ruck department. So. You know, they've got the best ruck apart from the competition. I think it's a really good challenge for, for Paddy, um, David and, and Tom Bell Chambers to come up against you know, some quality ruck. What does that do? Is he overwhelmed? Uh, yeah, oh, look, 99% sure he trained on Wednesday, no problem, and didn't pull up sore yesterday. So he just rolled his ankles slightly um, against the Bulldogs. And yeah, we're, unless he's uh, he's already gone, he's actually already over there. So um, yeah, he's confident he'll play. Can, can you talk a bit about the decision to bring Tom back again so you go back to the three ruckman thing? Yeah, I suppose it continues to get thrown up the uh, continues to get thrown up the three bucks. We we don't see them as that. I mean, Paddy has played this year key defence, key forward, and in the ruck. So we can play him in any one of those three positions. David has played probably more key forward than he has in the ruck, um, particularly in the last two weeks, and also this year. Um, so we'll play two ruckmen, and one of those guys will either play back or forward. Jimmy, you've obviously got a reasonably acute knowledge of how long it's been since you won over there. Have you, is it time to make a stand for you, Ted? No, we don't. Our, our interstate record this year has been 2-2. Two and two. And in my time as coach, that's what it's been. And this group, that's what it's been. So we're on a 50% record. Um, it's always hard to go to Perth and win because there's, there's quality opposition. They're a good team. Whether we played West Coast at the MCG or at Patterson uh, Stadium, they're a good team and they're hard to beat. So. We become a good team. Those games get easier to win, no matter where you play. But the other places you played in, you've been beat on them. Yep, that's right. So this is—it's a significant time that you haven't beaten them over there. Uh, as I said, the, the ground doesn't worry us at all. It's the quality opposition. But they're a good quality opposition. Do you have to tweak things like that? Then you need a bit more run. Yeah, it's definitely a bigger ground. It's a longer ground. I don't know. It's a wider ground than the MCG, but it's a, it's a longer ground. Um, and I just don't think you, you don't change too much, but certainly if you win it out of the middle, it's definitely two kicks to goal. If you win it um, across half back, it's probably three kicks. You know, you do. If you haven't played there before, you can tend to get a little bit lost. But um, with our the running ability, with our young kids that we've got at the moment, I think that um, we're suited to that ground. Obviously, they run a pretty good team that can run really hard with Emily and now Gaff coming in and uh, the considerable runners they've got. But yeah, we. Um, we won't change too much. Travis Colley might have had a bit of a run. How, how far off is that? Yeah, Trav may play a half in the reserves this week. Um, he's He'll get through. We'll see how he goes this morning training, um, but he's just not right, not ready for senior selection this year. Anything that takes place leading this from here, particularly is it all where you'd like it to be? Obviously, you've got those couple of niggles and that, but and is love, any, how do you describe oh, I love Courtney Dempsey, Jason Wingerlick, um, Brent Prismal, all three, all fresh, Sam Long, it'd be great to have the four of those up for selection. So like every team we've got significant um, injuries that we, we won't be able to, you know, guys won't be able to play. But uh, our last couple of weeks have been pretty good performance. I think we've improved over the year, which is our ambition. And you know, we uh, we go into this game with, with confidence that um, we're going to perform well. Having watched West Coast from the other side of the fence last year to what they are now, are you surprised at the improvement, especially the improvement with the older guys? 
be seen. Well, there's no doubt that they're, they're older players and they're, they're, they're really good older players are playing a lot better than they did last year. Um, their, their defensive pressure in their forward half has been you know, really well documented um, and it's, a, it's a elite. Um, it's right up there. They're very hard to get the ball out of their forward line. Um, and their kicking skills have really improved. And you, know, you, you just look at the way they've improved their skills and um, I think they must have done a lot of hard work over summer throughout the year. It's all credit to them. But what I've also done is taken a bit of pressure off their, their back line with um, a really good press and, and forward pressure. So, and you combine that with the, the ruck outfit and the, the midfield they've gotten, they're a really challenging team to, to play against. But does it surprise you that so many of the Emblems, Crops and Glass, whatever, have been able to get back to what they were? Uh, I was surprised that they weren't playing as well last year because they're, they're, they're quality players. I mean, you've seen Andrew Emily play for, for 10 years in, in quality positions. Dean Cox is, if not the best ruck in the last 20 years close to Daniel Kerr. So these guys had the talent and had injuries or whatever in the last few years, but um, this year they're playing terrific. Well, what you said about all the forward press there and that thing, does that make the midfield not just even more important? Yeah, look, they've got a quality midfield, but there's no doubt if you can get into your forward line before they do, it um, negates one of their real strengths. Um, why did Fletcher go early? Uh, Fletcher always likes to go a couple of days early. Um, just his old 30, 45 year old body, whatever it is, uh, needs a bit more time to unwind after the plane trip. So. Yeah, did, did he go with anyone? Uh, he, Mark McVay and Nathan Lovett Murray went a couple of days a week yesterday. Just older players who know how to handle their preparation, prefer to go two days and the rest of the squad or two days a day.